Hey guys, my name is Zabo, and today we're gonna be checking out Chunga's Offset album. I'm really excited to check this album out. I'm just really excited to check out more Chunga. Um, but without further ado, make sure to like the video, comment down below any of the songs from this album that you really enjoy. Subscribe, hit the bell so you be notified when my videos go live. And for any extra content, check out the Patreon. But excuse me. Um, without further ado, let us get into it. So we have the Offset choreography video, which is the intro. But I'm really, really happy that she does like choreo for her intros. Like. There's an actual choreo um, video and everything. Then we have the um, title track, which is Roller Coaster. Then we have Do It. Um, the rest of our lyric video is called Do It, Bad Boy, and Remind Remind of You. Remind of You? Yeah. Um, without further ado, here we go. Off. God, Chunga, calm down. Offset. They always go crazy with these intro. Chunga is just a. Oh my god. Oh my god, look how low they got with the just offset. Offset. Nothing really much for me to say. Love the choreo. Whoa. Wow, these outfit light up. Okay, okay. I'm excited for this. So here we go with roller coaster. I love the offset. Very nice choreo. Very just like she knows how to express who she is within her dancing, and I love it. Like, sexy, but I can also be cute and all that. Like, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, and it's changing colors. I, mean, I don't know if that's the editing or, like, they can do that, like, with certain colors, but it's really dope. Mm. And this come out January seventeenth. She looks good in that hairstyle too, by the way. Oh, queen.
I'm gonna pause it here, but I really just love these um outfits with the how they just glow in the dark and how they're changing them. Like I don't know if it's like maybe a lighting or the way that they sprayed and they can just spray certain lights like onto the people to change the color or editing, you know. But it's really dope. I really like it. Um I'm really liking the song. It is it feels like a roller coaster. It is I think it's her way of like love is like a roller coaster you have lots of ups and downs twists and turns it can be very rocky or very smooth at times like like you know like a roller coaster ride you i feel like if you ever been on multiple roller coasters they're they're not all the same they're not all going to be smooth they're not all ups and downs there there's some that do flips there's some that do twists and turns go through tunnels like they're all different they all have different like feels to them and you know someone can be very smooth like you know you get through it you feel very great or someone could be very rocky and you have a headache like and i feel like that's the best way to sometimes describe love like love is like a roller coaster you get headaches sometimes it's very smooth it's very easy it's very just like nice and, and sometimes it has some ups some downs some twists and turns some flips like it has a lot like being in love and loving someone like um but that's what makes it like i guess genuine and a good thing because no love should be so smooth but no love should be so rough like it should be it should have you know twists and turns ups and downs it should have all of that to make it feel genuine and make it feel alive like if it was too smooth it would be boring like there would be nothing to ever maybe like sh like dis dislike something or disagree with something but if it's too rough you know it can be very bad and yeah i really like that she describes it like this so here we got three two ones <laughs> i really like this <laughs> the dancers are killing it too See what I mean by she can be very like sexy and like a bit of that scent of cute sometimes that she wants to show off. But I feel like she does that when she's like she just she's always feeling some of these choreos. Hmm. Yes, Chungai, roller coaster. <laughs> I really enjoyed the song. Let's just let's just do it. Let's <laughs> move on to do it. Three, two, one, let's go. Real good sign, dang. Never stop. All I'm 
I'm gonna pause it here. I like the song. I like the lyrics. How it's like kind of saying like, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Keep, you know, keep moving it like you moving it. Like basically like like almost like a good job. You you got me falling for it. You got me loving you. So keep it up. Keep doing what you doing. Don't change it. Don't, you know, you know, don't be something different. You know, keep doing you basically. Um I like the song. I like her energy. But this is like, you know, one of the other times where I'm like, I wish the beat was a bit more, like a bit louder. And I wish it had something in it. Like, cause it feels, I'm starting, like, there's, there's songs where it's like, it is repetitive with what they're saying. But I like it cause the beat doesn't feel like that. They give a sense of like, it's different throughout. But this song feels like it, it, it does feel repetitive. And it doesn't feel like the energy is there, especially because of how low it is. But maybe that's because of the lyric video recorder, the person that recorded the audio for it, maybe didn't record it loud enough. I don't know. Because cause if I go listen to it and the song is the same like volume, then yeah, okay, then it's the song. But if it's a bit louder and it, I can hear things better, then okay, I understand. So that's why I'm like saying that here, but I'm also like giving like a warning, like, it could be that, but that's my, like, really my only critique. I really like her voice in this. Love, I just really love the energy and just, like, you know, like, you know, how she's just singing it. So, you got three, two, one, let's go. Oh, You stay electric, we all. I'm about a Chunga and other artists that do have this sort of freedom to talk about this kind of emotion in a more like seductive, sexy, mature way. Hmm. I do like the sound of this because it gives it that summer kind of feel to it. But like I said, it's, it got a bit like repetitive with the energy, and I like I don't blame the song if it's because of the video, like the you know the lyric maker. But yeah, I really enjoyed the song. Moving on to Bad Boy, like I said, kind of hard just to find this one video where it's not with Christopher. Nothing wrong against Christopher. I was just trying to find the original. Like, you know, I don't know if, I don't know what that bad boy song that they have together sounds like or if it's like just Chunga's song or his song. I don't know. But here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. <clears throat> Ooh. I imagine someone like tap dancing to this. Mm. 
Mm. I'm gonna pause it, but basically, you know, the song's just talking about a bad boy. Like, you know, once everyone figure out, sees your true colors, they'll know how dangerous you are because you're a bad boy. Like, you know, bad boys are, you know, the people that I feel like, or bad girl, you know, everyone that everybody wants one, but you want, once you get one and you realize that it's not cut out to be and then you realize how much those like the like good guy or good girl is and you you know want to go back it's almost like a actual drama like you go for that chase of like the bad person that doesn't even care for you i feel like it's it's almost like that kind of like you kind of want to see if you're the one that can make them better in a sense like you're the one that can try to change them for the better but it doesn't work out so you realize that you had the good person right beside you that you could have had all along and it's just like you could have messed it up or you know a lot of things so but it's just like kind of like this message of like he's bad like all of this is a lie like you know like that sort of thing so here we go three two one seven to the um last song i really enjoy bad boy like the message of like you know like it's just don't do it like it's just he's not worth it he's he's dangerous like everything you know i really like that it had kind of this like um where i describe a jazz feel i guess that's the best way for me to describe it but yeah i'm uh, moving on to the last song of the album which is called remind of you so here we go three two one let's go i don't know if it's a mistranslation because i would call it remind me of you but Oh, 
정이죠 바라지 않아도 따뜻한 손을 내밀던 그댄 날 놓쳐버렸죠 항상 곁에 있어줘서 어떤 사랑 받은지 모르고 어린 사랑이 자꾸 두정 부리면 그대는 더 어른이 되어갔죠 와, 차가운 바람이 내 맘에 스치면 그대와 I'm gonna pause it here, but yeah, I understand it's like it's winter time and this person might be gone, but it's just like with your memories here, it makes even this cold winter that we are experiencing could pass very warmly because of the memories you brought us. But I like that it's like the good memories. It's not like so sad in the sense of like I miss you, but it's in the sense of like I do miss you, but thank you for these memories so I can get through these kind of seasons a lot better than than you know not having any memories at all. So yeah, I like that perspective. I really like her voice, and it's like you. We got to see her voice in a more playful manner, a like more seductive, sexy manner. And we get to see her in a more like pure, like kind of ballad s manner, more in that like emotional state. So yeah, this this album is really showing off all types of like moments that her voice needs to kind of hit in order to give it off to give off that um that feeling. And she's been hitting it. Chunga has been hitting it with each of the songs that have come up with that emotion that it needs to kind of be like felt or whatever vibe that she's going with. So here we got three, two, one, let's go. Good job, Chunga. That that was an amazing album. It really showcased what she can do as an artist with her voice. And just, it's like, I know a lot of people know her for her um, choreo and her dancing skills. But I feel like, not saying that people don't do it, but I feel like, I feel like we underrate it even, even a bit more than how we should of her vocal talent. Cause she has some nice, amazing vocals, and she's such an amazing artist. Like, like I said, she she could be, um, she's like the all arounder for me. She can rap, she can sing, and she can dance. Like, excuse me, I guess four things too. She can act within her music videos, like the expressions, like everything about her is like like a night. Like she's a great all arounder. <laughs> she does everything so well. There's there's not much of me like saying like, well. She can sing and she can dance, but the rapping is kind of like, you know, she did it, but it's not really as impactful. No, when she starts rapping, her rapping is impactful and I really enjoy it. So, yeah, 
that has been Chung Ha's um, Offset album. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I really did enjoy this a lot. Um, but with that, hopefully um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.